Hello, friends. I'm Jerônimo Júnior. I'm a surgical pathologist in Brazil. As you know, I have a YouTube channel with interesting videos, but until then, in Portuguese. This is now the first video in English, and I ask you to subscribe and share with your friends. My first video is about lichenoid dermatitis. In DermPath, as you know, uh, it's important to have algorithms in mind when facing cases. Logically, uh, the algorithms are not infallible, but with them we can solve many cases. The classification of interface dermatitis included lichenoid dermatitis when you see band infiltrated parallel to the epidermis and vacuolar dermatitis when you see a vacuolar alteration uh, and surface ear and or deep pervascular infiltrate. Here, an example of vacuolar dermatitis when you see vacualization of basal layer and an interstitial and pervascular infiltrate. Here, an example of lichenoid infiltrate dermatitis, and when you see the dense, intense inflammatory infiltrate, blurry at uh, the derm epidermic junction. My first case, it's a patient that presented with pruritic polygonal environment purples affecting the trunk and the extender surface of the wrist and ankles. My first slide is to give you a tip. It's, a, it's an important tip in surgical pathology. Uh, spend time on, on, on power. Uh, in DermPath, for example, we are able to make a uh, main diagno diagnosis in this magnification. So my first tip is spend time on low power. In our case, we see a hyperkeratosis without parakeratosis, a hypergranulosis. Uh, you see here, a uh, wet shape of uh, granular layer and the epidermis is hyperplastic with sawtooth-like uh, interpapular ridges, as you see here. In this magnification, we see a dense, intense inflammatory infiltrate with predominance of lymphocytes there is vacualization of basal cell, and we see many necrotic keratinocytes. So we are facing a uh, lichenoid dermatitis with clinical and morphological features compatible with lichen plans. It's my diagnosis. When you, you are facing uh, with a lichenoid dermatitis, you need to make three questions. Is there parakeratosis? Are there eosinophils? Is it single or multiple lesions? Save these slides. When you are facing a uh, classic like in planus, is like uh, a stiff daddy who says, don't have parakeratosis and eosinophils. On the other side, when we are facing a lichenoid drug eruption, and other differential diagnosis in lichenoid dermatitis is like the most gentle mother who says, if you, if you, I owe you, I, you don't have paracratosis in eosinophils, but if you want to be fine. So if you don't have paracratosis, no eosinophils and multiple lesions, you need to think about lichen planus and variants, graft and host, hypertrophic lupus, and you, if you see, Subepidermal cleft, you need to think about bulos like implants. Now, see this case. It's a lichenoid infiltrate, similar to the previous case. You, you can think about uh, like implants. But in this case, we see a uh, lichenoid infiltrate, subepidermal cleft, clefts, and main necrotic keratinocytes. So here we have an important clinical inform. 
single arm lesion and the doctor thinking about basal cell carcinoma. If you have this information, okay. But if you don't have any information, you need to ask for it. You need to call the dermatologist. You need to be friend with them. This case is a, an example of lichenoid keratosis. So if you have no parakeratosis, no eosinophil, but it's a single lesion, you need to think. And lichenoid keratosis, lichenoid actin keratosis, uh, and regression of lentigo maligna. If you want more tips like this, join us on Telegram. Our group is Tips and Case. See you next video. Thank you.